Okay, so this guy here supposedly had, he was like, uh, whatever, political, politically pissed off at a uh, congressman, right? So the police, whatever, FBI uh, come out when the congressmen are at risk. So anytime a congressman is threatened, and I'm not threatening any congressman, and once again, I'm vegetarian, and I believe in karma. What comes around goes around. I do not believe in killing or violence. So this poor guy, basically, uh, as it's reported in the media, he was pissed off at his congressman. So basically, he reportedly shot several police and a congressman. Now, this is just uh, a microcosm of the macrocosm, the way I see it. If um, congressmen are not doing their job, at, for instance, ignoring the chemtrail uh, pollution that's coming down on all of us, Every breath we take, we're breathing in aluminum, barium, strontium, coal ash, sulfur, etc. And they are failing to follow through with their oath of office. Um, you're going to get people like this who are pissed off. Um, and so this is basically the tip of the iceberg the way I see it. And... So once again, I uh, do not believe in violence myself. I do not uh, believe in killing. And so that's my personal view. But when you have a society that is basically overrunning the whole uh, planet, um, and you have people that are supposedly supposed to be doing a job, you're going to have this kind of thing happening. And so, yeah, that's my view on the recent shooting or shootings. This is what we see every day, sharks. Uh, all elected officials, this is the reality of our skies. Turning off and on. Expanding the aerosol cloud cover that's already there. Again, this type of upper level cloud is anything but natural, although this is not acknowledged by anyone in the meteorological community as they all help to hide the climate engineering crimes from public view. But there's absolutely no denying this aircraft is dispersing materials. We see this much more now. The sort of on again, off again spraying that. And passenger out. jets fly and by with no contrail at all. Dirty, dingy, cobweb like materials. Depending on the polarization of these particulates, the RF frequency signal they might be exposed to from the ionosphere heaters like HARP, it can cause those particulates to repel each other and scatter throughout the atmosphere to more evenly distribute them and form the type of cloud canopy we see in this video. When so you get your to the particular loading level public the official, your self-made millionaires now. ignoring this scenario, in other it's not a good sign. Almost every day for the past three years, I've video documented this spraying. So we have, now we have uh, dementia, the leading cause of death. And uh, we have respiratory disease, the third leading cause of death because of the sprayed particulates in our air. Zone of existing sprayed aerosols 
he let out a, a much larger blast of materials there. Same thing, he went over an open stretch of sky, stopped, and you can see as he enters this cloud bank, it picks up again. Again, you see a patch in the existing cloud cover. So uh, this sort of patchwork spraying appears to be part of their effort to be more covert as more and more people begin to realize this is going on. All of us need to join in this battle to bring this issue to light as fast as we possibly can before the planet is damaged beyond any point of repair. Okay, so here is a Shark Tank episode. The White House at the White House. So basically these are global entrepreneurs that are presenting some of their things to the sharks. These sharks are basically uh, investors. They're self-made millionaire investors and they if you haven't seen their Shark Tank program uh, you can find a lot on YouTube, ABC and so basically, what I'm uh, proposing to the sharks and or this whole White House entrepreneurial uh, board is to find a way to control global warming without spraying 10 to 20 million tons of barium, strontium, aluminum, coal ash, sulfur, etc. in our air. And uh, I totally respect the sharks and what where they're at. They probably can't talk about anything. They probably under a contract to only deal with certain things and sort of that's kind of understandable but I'm going to personally challenge these sharks uh, all these sharks on Shark Tank and to support for instance the air car and or solar engineering to help combat global warming climate change without spraying 10 to 20 million tons of nanoparticulates in our air because no doubt my friend sharks or you may not consider me a friend but I appreciate your work so far and I'm challenge, challenging you to invest and or find a way to slow climate change without spraying nanoparticulates in our air. To YouTube, a real-time aerosols release from EasyJet, a low-cost passenger airline. It has long been suspected that discount airlines can only afford to sell cheap tickets when the owners sign secret government contracts to spray toxins over the populations and into the camp. Through a 